Hey everybody, Mike here again, back out in the garage. Just picked up a new tool, this new Fortinue J40 uh, application wire cutter. Now, one thing I want to advise everybody on is that these wire cutters are not to be used with any live wires. So anytime you're working with wire cutting, please make sure that you're disconnected from your power source and that you've got no live electricity or no live energy flowing through any of your sources that you're cutting. Um, these are highly recommended for cable uh, connection cables, such as like your standard cable connection. Um, even though these are kind of outdated, we still see a lot of these, and I still have a bunch of these running through my basement, so I've been looking forward to cutting a lot of these out considering everything is wireless these days. Uh, we also have here a Cat5 line, uh, just your standard communication for your computer or your wireless router, Cat59. I've also got an old printer cord here, just to show you. It's just a standard cord. Uh, stereotypically, the wires and the copper that runs through here is the same that you're gonna find in any kind of communication cable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to open up the cable cutter itself, how it closes, and then I'll show you how it all cuts. So once I get everything prepped and ready to go, I'll show you how we do that and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got my cutters at a decent diameter that I wanna put my cables through. What I'm gonna do now is just put each one of these cables through that I just showed you guys and show you how easy it is to just ratchet down on this. You can see it closing already, which each click, uh, the teeth grab on this ratchet system with an easy release here. If you wanted to open the diameter, you simply just pull up on the handle and push down and open it back up. If you want to quickly close the diameter, you can do the same thing by holding up the ratchet on this release pin or lever and close it down. So what we'll do now is stick the cables in here. I'll show you how easy it is to just stick the cable in there, ratchet it down and cut. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got all of my cut cables, each of these different diameters, each of them different uses. There's your stereotypical cable wire, clean cut. This is just a stereotypical printer cable, clean cut. And here we have your Cat5 Ethernet cord, clean cut. Like I said before, I've got a lot of old cables and old wires in my house, so I'm really looking forward to taking these, like I said, really easy to open up, stick your wire in there, and then ratchet down and get rid of all those old cables. So really functional tool, real durable. I don't think this is going to rust over time. I don't think this is going to break over time. I'm going to put it to good work, put it through the gauntlet, and really happy with this. So go out and get yours.